We've been on a journey with the Beyond Budgeting Roundtable uh, now for approaching 10 years. Uh, we are a research collaborative and we also um, are a network of members of people who are interested in developing and uh, implementing uh, this new model. As you can see from this slide or from the copy in front of you, um, the BBRT has attracted people from a very wide range of different um, companies, industries and countries. And you can see uh, on that list some of the largest and most famous companies uh, in the world um, who have um, or are members of the BBRT. So there has been widespread interest uh, in this uh, topic and uh, our work. Um, we've gradually developed the BBRT uh, into different regions. We started in the UK and extended that to become a European region. Most recently we've established uh, a separate region for the German-speaking countries and um, in the Middle East, where we've now established one um, with its center in Iran. Uh, in North America, we've been operating for uh, several years, and we have um, the most members, in fact, in North America. And uh, with Niels, uh, we started uh, in South America in 2004, uh, and we've tried to establish one in Australia, um, and we hope uh, to develop that too. So this is a topic which is not restricted to a particular industry or a particular part of the world. Um, it is of universal uh, interest. In our journey, um, we have uh, gone through stages. Uh, the first stage was um, beyond budgeting. And uh, we started by trying to understand why large companies are having, particularly large companies, are having uh, such great problems uh, with their budgeting processes. The conclusion that we reached is that uh, one cannot improve the budgeting process. These problems are just symptoms of a deeper problem with the management model. And We've understood um, the background to the development of the command and control model and um, realized that in today's conditions, which are much more competitive and complex than the conditions uh, over the much of the last hundred years, companies need a new management model uh, to be um, most competitive. And in the past uh, two or three years, uh, we've become involved in how you implement this model. And it is not an easy process to implement, but we shall be sharing our experience with you today um, and, and in the meeting tomorrow. So it's been a journey uh, for us. And in the course of this journey, we've produced for our members uh, a number of papers particularly case studies of companies which have developed um, better, different management models and through them have become highly successful. We've uh, written case reports on those, we've written conceptual reports, and we've written a number of books. And the first of these books, Beyond Budgeting, uh, was written by Jeremy Hope and myself. And it's been translated into um, seven or eight uh, different languages, one of which is shown there because it's the most exotic. <laughs> um, and Niels Flaking has written two books um, and continues to write uh, more books. And most recently, um, his book, uh, Leading with Relative Targets, uh, came out uh, in Germany and has uh, won um, prizes, awards, um, and is extremely uh, popular. Uh, Niels is translating his book into Portuguese and this will be available uh, before long. So anyway, that's um, about the BBRT. 
And um, what I want to do in this um, session, in the next uh, 45 minutes, is uh, to give you the, the background as to why we believe um, companies today need to change their management model. And uh, we're going to focus particularly on four cases during the day, uh, during the two days, um, which share in common what we're calling um, the DNA of management. I thank you very much for listening and I'm going to join Magnus on the platform uh, after his presentation and after coffee um, to take questions with him. Thank you very much.